Jail Baby is about, okay, here it goes. Like if we value property so much in our community, and we do, what happens when our property is stolen and the people that steal that property go to prison? Are they treated as property in prison? And where do we decide enough is enough? Well, first of all, I'm so excited to bring this story to life because I've thought about it for a very, very long time. I used to work as a young person's uh, lawyer for a long time, a long time ago. And basically all of my clients went through this process and this experience and I had to talk to them before and afterwards and throughout. And I always felt that there was something that the community and that the legal system needs to talk about and actually reframe and look at from a different perspective. The themes of this show are disadvantage and the justice system interrogating something that we all take for granted, which is in fact a state-sanctioned torture that's not part of a sentence in our justice system, but we all just accept that it happens to people in prison. And I really want to understand why we're prepared to accept that in our own name. I think if you participate in a capitalist society and you participate in a justice system in any way possible, whether you just abide by the law or not, you need to actually come to this show to have a conversation about how it's been shaped by us not speaking out. Why I'm excited to bring it to Griffin is because Griffin is the home of playwrights in Australia. It is the place that we test our craft, work our craft, excite our craft, plug our craft into electrical sockets and make it dynamite basically. So for me it's so exciting to be back at the home ground where I started with most of my major plays. I think it's a place that no matter what happens out in the world for playwrights, wherever you go, and lots of us have been to many other shores with our work, when we come back to Griffin it really is a coming back home.